Ang sabi nila ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan at yan ang pawang katotohanan. So today we're putting that power to the test here on KCHEP. Hello everyone, ako po si Attorney Gabby Concepcion. And for several weeks now, we've been searching for those na gustong sanayin at palawakin ang brain power nila through competition. At ngayon ay nasa home stretch na po tayo. Today we choose our last daily winner who will compete in tomorrow's weekly finals. So soon, we will reveal a new K-Check champion. So, apat na contestants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. Mika is a business administration student of UP Diliman. She loves watching musical bootlegs and jamming out to Taylor Swift. She also watches anime and her current obsession is One Piece. Marianne is a comparative literature student at UP Diliman. Her hobbies include watching movies and maintaining top listener status for Tony Fowler on Spotify. Erica is a business administration and accountancy student in UP Diliman. She's interested in the field of marketing and is a gotcha game enthusiast. Last but not least, we have Adrian, who is a nursing student of Our Lady of Fatima University. His hobbies are playing online games, chess, and sometimes even basketball. He was recently declared chess champion at their university sports fest. These four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. First, we have ang sukay natin, Professor Neil Santillan, former chairperson of the UP Diliman Department of History. Actually, lahat sila suke, Assistant Professor Marla Endriga from the Department of Biology of UP Manila. And of course, Professor Roman Lito, to Austria of the College of Fine Arts, UP Diliman. At ngayon, contestants, it's time for our first round. So get ready to buzz in and collect those points. But make sure you wait until you are acknowledged. Otherwise, you will not be given any credit for your answer. Correct answers are 10 points each. With those rules in place, let's begin. Let's begin with question number one of round one. In history, what Italian volcano's eruption buried the Italian cities Pompeii and Herculaneum in 79 AD? The correct answer is Mount Vesuvius. Question number two. Which British Formula One driver has won a record seven World Drivers' Championship titles and holds the records for the most wins and pole positions among others? The correct answer is Lewis Hamilton. Question number three in music. Bad Bunny had been Spotify's most streamed artist since 2020, but his three-year reign was ended in 2023 when which female artist had 26 billion streams that year? Mika. Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift is the correct answer. K-check. Question number four. Founded in 1985, what Japanese animation studio is associated with the films My Neighbor Totoro? Erika. Ghibli. Gib studio Ghibli is correct. K check. Question number five. What do you call the scented solution, usually consisting of alcohol and only about 2 to 6% perfume concentrate, that is named after a German city? The correct answer is Cologne. Question number six. When the UP men's basketball team won its first UAAP or UAP title in 1986, what university did they defeat in the finals? The correct answer is UE or University of the East. Question number seven. What is the name of the 12th century temple complex in Cambodia, 
which is the world's largest religious structure. A famous tourist spot, this is the Angkor Wat. Question number eight, this time in literature. What is the tale of the novel written by Alexander Dumas about D'Artagnan and three swashbuckling heroes of the 17th century? Also a famous chocolate bar, The Three Musketeers. Question number nine. What sport played in a swimming pool has two seven-person teams trying to knock the ball into their opponent's goal? Marianne. <coughs> Water polo. Water polo is the correct answer. k -check. Question number 10. What yellow-green secretion, which is produced in the liver and passed to the gallbladder for storage, aids in the digestion of fats? Adrian. Bile. Our nursing student answered this correctly. The correct answer is bile. K-check. Question number 11. This time in mythology, who is the Greek goddess of health and home and the counterpart of Vesta in Roman mythology? Mika. Hera. Hera is wrong. Adrian. Artemis. Artemis is also incorrect. The correct answer is Hestia. And question number 12, the last question for the first round. Which actor was nominated for the film Chaplin before playing the role of Tony Stark and Iron Man in the Marvel movies? Mika. Robert Downey Jr. Robert Downey Jr. is correct. k -check. And that's it for our first round. And that was it for our first round. After that round, we have Mika in the lead with 20 points, followed by Marianne, Erica, and Adrian with 10 points each. So ito na po yung portion na chichikahin natin ng ating mga contestants para mas makilala natin sila. First of all, Mika, why are you obsessed with One Piece? And how does the live-action series compare to the anime? Actually, nirecommend siya sa akin ng friend ko before. So ngayon nasa episode 500 na ako. Wow. And then yung arcs niya is so interesting and then sobrang well-developed ng characters. I love it so much. As for the live action, actually the live action was my introduction to One Piece because I was very hesitant to watch the anime first because it has around 1,000 episodes. So yung, one P yung live action is maganda siyang introduction for people who want to try One Piece but were intimidated with the length of the series. After listening to our young contestants, we have so much to catch up on. <laughs> anyway, Marianne, you're a fan of this very controversial personality. <laughs> ang friend ng MTRCB. <laughs> well, the lyrics of Tony Fowler's rap songs are medyo racy. So, what can you say about the publicity she has been getting? And what attracted you? to be a fan of uh, Tony Fowler in the first place. Uh, hindi naman niya po ako fan, but I enjoy songs lang po talaga in general. Although, mas malaki po ang nakapapakinggan na cancelable ng mga artist, pero na-enjoy ko po talaga siya. Hindi ko po alam bakit. Siguro po, simula po nung bata ako, napakinggan ko po kasi yung mga pang matatanda na medyo sexual yung kanta. Pero, hindi ko naman po siya nililive up, ganun. Pero, uh -oh. na-enjoy ko lang po siya. Parang guilty pleasure, ganun. Pero sino naman yung matatanda na pinakikinggan mo dati? I'm just really very curious. Yung mga tito ko po kasi ganun yung pinapatugtog sa radyo. Yung, yung mga kantang hindi pang bata. Pero naririnig ko po eh. In any case, pag naalala mo na or natanong mo na ang mga tito mo, <laughs> pakibalikan mo kami dito to further educate us. So maraming salamat, contestants. We will speak to Erica and Adrian later. There's so many interesting things about them. But that will have to wait. For now, we have to prepare because it's time for round two, here next on K-Check.
Patuloy pa rin ang ating karunungan check after the first round. Mika leads with 20 points. Marian, Erica, and Adrian all have 10 points each. So maaga pa naman. At since maaga pa, pwede pa tayong magchikahan. Let's go now to Erica, who is a gacha game enthusiast. In the first place, what is gacha? Um, gacha came from the uh, parang Japanese mini capsules na maglalagay ka ng coin and if it's a turn mo, may lalabas na mm -hmm, capsule and may random thing na nandun sa loob. Uh, basically, ang gacha game is a uh, game of chance mm -hmm. na makuha mo yung gusto mong items dun sa game na So, in effect, medyo mag siya? Uh, depende. May games na hindi kailangan maglagay ng really? money. Yes. Though, medyo malayo na ang power difference mo sa compared to ibang players. So where do you usually find, I'm sure you need the machines to be able to play this game? Ah, no, it, wala siyang physical na, ano, uh, yung capsule. Parang yun lang yung concept na kinuha nila uh, para magbuo yung So game. this is an online game? Yes, usually. You learn something new every day from our very young contestants. What about you, Adrian? Congratulations nga pala sa yung chess win. So how did you prepare for your chess uh, championship? Actually, hindi naman po ako nag-prepare nun. Magaling ka lang talaga. Talaga nga, hindi ko lang po talaga yung pag-chess. Balay na po yung ano, tawag dun. Um, pang pastime ko, bukod sa pag-play ng online games. Mm. Have you participated in a chess championship more than once? Iskol lang po talaga yung ano competition si Nasali. Mm -hmm. Kasi may dagdag grades din siya. <laughs> oh, I see. Okay. Congratulations ulit sa iyo. And now, now that we've known our contestants better, it's time for round two. So contestants, get ready to buzz in, but make sure to strategize because in this round, correct answers are worth 20 points each, but you lose 10 points if you answer incorrectly. Let's begin. This is question number one of round two. Which male singer made it to the record books in 2010 when his song, Baby, became the most viewed YouTube video? Mika. Um, Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber is the correct answer. k -check. Question number two. What is the name of the popular puzzle composed of 81 squares in a nine by nine arrangement where the solver should place the numbers one to nine so that every number appears once in each horizontal line. Marian? Sudoku. Sudoku is the correct answer. k -check. Question number three. In what province can you find the towns of Paumbong, Kalumpit, and Norsagaray? Adrian? Bulacan. Bulacan is the correct answer. k -check. Question number four. What is the name of the tough, fibrous band of connective tissue that serves to support the internal organs and hold bones together. Adrian. Muscle. The answer is incorrect. Our ligaments hold our bones together. Question number five. Which 13-member K-pop group that performed at the Philippine Arena in January? Erica. 17. They performed in Philippine Arena in January 2024 and recorded the hit songs Pretty You, Very Nice, and Don't Wanna Cry. 17 is the correct answer. K check. Tanood ka ba? Unfortunately, hindi. <laughs> okay. Question number six. What word may mean either a large public green area as a noun, or it could also mean to leave a car in a convenient place as a verb. Marian. Park. Park is the correct answer. k -check. Question number seven. Which former U.S. president once hosted the television reality show, The Apprentice? Lagut kayo kay Donald Trump. Question number eight. The WWE is the largest wrestling promotion in the world whose main roster is divided into two brands, Raw and SmackDown. What does WWE stand for? Mm -hmm. 
walang wrestling fans today. It stands for World Wrestling Entertainment. Question number nine. According to the Christmas Carol, on what day of Christmas did my true love give me five golden rings? Mika. Fifth day of Christmas. Si Mika na kumanta muna bago sumagot. The answer is correct. K check. On the fifth day of Christmas. Question number 11. Which shiny metallic element has the symbol CR? Adrian. Chromium. Chromium is the correct answer. K check. And question number 11. In math, what number is exactly between 12 and 22? Mika. 17. 17 is the correct answer. K check. Question number 12. Which superhero with no real superhuman power is also known as the Cape Crusader who sometimes worked with his sidekick, Robin? Mika. Batman. Batman is the correct answer. K check. And that's it for our second round. And after the second round, we have Mika in the lead with 100 points, followed by Marianne with 50, Adrian with 40, and Erica with 30 points. Pero hindi pa po tapos ang laban. Up next, parating na po ang ating ultimate pagalingan round sa pagbabalik ng K-Check. Welcome back to K-Check. And now it's time for a recap of the scores. Mika with 100, Marianne with 50, Adrian with 40, and Erica with 30 points. And it's now time for our ultimate pagalingan round. So let's go for those points and for the win. Remember, sa ating panel of experts manggagaling ang mga katanungan. Again, please wait to be acknowledged before you give your answer so that your answer can be given credit. Correct answers are worth 30 points each at my 15-point deduction for wrong answers. Let's begin. Ultimate Pagalingan Round to be kicked off by Prof. Neil. General information. Sa anong kagawaran bahagi ang Bureau of Customs at Securities and Exchange Commission? A. Department of Budget and Management. B. Department of Finance C. Department of Justice D. Department of Trade and Industry E. National Economic and Development Authority Marian D. Department of Trade and Industry Bale Erica um, E. National Economic and Development Authority Bale Mika um, B, Department of Finance. Ang tamang sagot ay letter B, Department of Finance, k -check. Which galaxy is the Milky Way's nearest neighbor? Adrian. Andromeda Galaxy. Let me read the options. A, Andromeda Galaxy. B, Triangulum Galaxy. C, Black Eye Galaxy. D, Pinwheel Galaxy. E, Sombrero Galaxy. The correct answer is A, Andromeda Galaxy. K-check. Mexican woman painter, best known for her uncompromising and brilliantly colored self-portraits that deal with such themes as identity, sexuality, the human body, and death. She was known for her tumultuous relationship with Mexican social realist, mural artist, Diego Garcia. A. Leonora Carrington B. Sandra Cas Cisneros C. Frida Kahlo D. Mika Frida Kahlo Correct answer is C. Frida Kahlo K-check Prof. Neil Sino nagsulat ng akdang The Conjugal Dictatorship of Ferdinand and Imelda Marcos? A. Adrian Cristobal B. Primitivo Mejares C. Aquilino Pimentel D. Francisco Tatad 
E. Chodoro Valencia. Okay, sinulat ito noong taong 1976. Ang tamang sagot ay letter B. Ang nagsulat ay si Primitivo Mahal. Which genetic disorder results from the absence of an X chromosome in females and leads to short stature and sterility? A. Down syndrome B. Turner syndrome C. Kleinfelter syndrome D. Trisomy 18 E. Triple X syndrome The correct answer is B, Turner Syndrome. Prof. Talk. Japanese master artist and printmaker of the Okiyo-e. Uh, his early works represents the full spectrum of Okiyo-e art, including single sheet prints of landscape and sea waves. His famous print series, The Great Wave of Kanagawa. A, Akira Kurosawa. B, Hokusai. C. Yukio Mishima D. Mizuguchi Kenji E. Yojimbo The correct answer is letter B. Hokusai Rafi, sa usapang politika, ano ang parehong posisyon ang hinawakan ni na Ramon Mitra, Jose de Venecia, at Manny Villar? A. DILG Secretary B. DFA Secretary C. House Speaker D. President of the Nationalista Party E. Senate President Mika C. House Speaker Ang tamang sagot ay letter C. House Speaker K. Check Maraming salamat, Prof. Marla What is the Philippine local name for the Moringa plant which is rich in nutrients and often used in local cuisine. Adrian Malunggay. Let me read the choices. A. Talisay B. Malunggay C. Kamote D. Sayote E. Patola The correct answer is B. Malunggay. K-check. Prof. Top. Dying art of candy wrapping in San Miguel, Bulacan, known as Pastillas Wrappers. Paper cutouts fashioned from thin and transparent papel de hapon to serve as wrapping for pastillas. Soft confectionery made from caramel milk and fine sugar. A. Papel de, du de dulce. B. Papel de hapon. C. Papel de pastillas. D. Binalot. E. Pabalat. Mika. Papel de dulce. Incorrect. Adrian. Papel de hapon. Incorrect. Marian. Papel de pastillas. Incorrect. <laughs> so, ano na ang correct answer? The correct answer? answer is simply called pabalat. So, we now enter the last round of questions for the ultimate pagalingan round. Prof. Neil. Sa kasaysayang Pilipino, Sino ang pangulo ng bansa ang naglungsad ng malawakang digmaan laban sa Moro Islamic Liberation Front? A. Gloria Macapagal Arroyo B. Corazon Aquino C. Benigno Aquino III D. Joseph Estrada E. Fidel Ramos Siya rin ang Pangulo na pinatalsik ng EDSA DOS. Ang tamang sagot ay letter D, Joseph Estrada. Prof. Marla. What is the role of the lymphatic system in the human body? A. Regulating blood pressure. B. Producing enzymes. C. Fighting infections. Adrian. Fighting infections. The correct answer is C, fighting infections, K-check. Maraming salamat. And finally, Prof. To. Which American painter living in Paris became famous for her works Little Girl in Blue, Armchair, and Child's Back? 
A. Augusta Savage B. Helen Frankenhaler C. Mary Cassatt D. Georgia O'Keeffe and E. Winslow Homer Adrian Winslow Homer Incorrect The answer is letter C Mary Cassatt and that's it for our K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan Round. Congratulations to Mika, our K-Check Daily Winner with a final score of 175 points. We will see Mika again tomorrow when she competes with our other Daily Winners for the last spot in our semi-finals. So maraming salamat din kay Marianne, Erica, and Adrian for joining us today. And of course, to our soaking members of our panel of experts, Professor Neil, Professor Marla, and Professor To. This has been Attorney Gabby Concepcion. Join us again tomorrow for another round on K-Check.